it says, I say then, has God cast away his people? You guys remember uh, chapter 10 was talking about Israel, um, the Jews, and uh, there's no distinction, Jews and Greeks and things like that. Um, so I say then, God has God cast away his people? Certainly not. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham. Of the tribe of Benjamin. God has not cast away his people whom he foreknew. Or do you not know what the scripture says of Elijah? How he pleads with God against Israel. Saying, Lord, they have killed your prophets and torn down your altars. And I alone am left. And they seek my life. But what does the divine response say to him? I have reserved for myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to bow. Who have not bowed the knee to bow. So this is referencing our Old Testament story um, regarding Elijah and the Lord and things that were going on. Um, but basically, um, right now, the prophet Elijah has something against Israel because of Israel's wickedness. And he talks to God about that. You know, he complains about Israel um, to God. Right. And um, this was God's response. God's response um, was. I have reserved for myself 7000 men who have not bowed the knee to bow. Verse 5, even so then, at this present time, there is a remnant according to the election of grace. And if by grace, then it is no longer of works. Otherwise, grace is no longer grace. But if it is of works, it is no longer grace. Otherwise, work is no longer work. Okay, what does all that mean? <laughs> That's a lot, right? But if you guys remember what we've been reading um, in, the, in the book of Romans, when we started reading chapter 1, chapter 2, 3, 4, right? Um, 7, um, 9. It's saying the same kind of thing, right? It's saying that Israel... The Israelites cannot be justified with God by their own works. So they need to do it by grace. What does that mean? They have to come through Jesus, right? Jesus is the only way. Um, and, and so that's the gift of God um, of salvation to those who believe in Christ. So it's saying, is Israel, ba Paul's basically like, is Israel basically uh, screwed, right? Is Israel screwed? No. Just like when Elijah was complaining to God about Israel and God had hope for them, God has something reserved for them, Paul is like, it's the same thing right now. At this present time, there's a remnant according to the election of grace. What does that mean? There's a remnant that's going to be converted to Christianity, right? When it's talking about election of grace, that's through Jesus Christ. They're going to become followers of Jesus, right? And we know that's possible because they were, they were Jews that believed in Jesus and followed Jesus while Jesus was still alive. You know, the Bible shows us that. Uh, and then, of course, in the book of Acts, right? Uh, but it, it, it specifies and it emphasizes the fact that it's not going to be through the works of the law as they did before through Moses. It's going to be through Christ, meaning by grace, through Christ, by believing in him, just like any other Christian. They're just going to be Jews, Jew Christians instead of Gentile Christians, but it's still Christianity. Does that make sense?